humans and mega predators would clash again. This time the settlers were the Maori of New Zealand and the carnivore was a giant bird called the Haast's Eagle. The crown eagle of Africa is the most powerful forest hunter in the world today. Its enormous talons have bone-crushing power. The golden eagle, the most widespread of the world's large eagles, is used for hunting. It's not unknown for them to attack and even kill their handlers. But the most fearsome eagle ever to swoop from the sky was bigger than both. Haast's eagle lived in New Zealand until about 500 years ago. To understand this huge bird, first we need to realize the size of its prey. The South Island of New Zealand looked very different back then. It was covered in thick forest and filled with extraordinary birds, including the eagle and the flightless plant eater, the moa. When Europeans arrived in the 1800s, that world of birds was gone and all that was found of the gigantic moa was its bones. The largest moa could weigh in at over 250 kilograms and was the size of a small elephant. At the time when these giant birds filled the forests, there were no predators on the ground in New Zealand. And people hadn't yet arrived on the island. But there was still danger. A threat came from the sky. Haast's eagle, the largest eagle that has ever lived. It weighed almost 15 kilograms and had a wingspan of more than two and a half meters. Little was known about the eagle until it was studied in detail by Dr. Richard Holdaway. One of the best ways of visualizing the, the size of the house eagle is to take the, the femur, the, the upper leg bone, and this is femur of a bald eagle, and that is a, an just the musculature etched on there, it's a, it was a huge animal. A 15 kilogram bird is almost too large to fly, but this one did. The muscle attachments and the articulations show that this bird not only flew very strongly, but it was a flapping bird. It didn't soar like vultures, it flew through the forest at great speed, 40 or 50 miles an hour, and swooped down on its prey. But even at 80 kilometers an hour, how could Haast's eagle bring down a mower that was 10 or even 20 times its size? Talons, the size of tiger's claws. One can imagine that these great eagles hunted their prey very much like the great eagles of today, the harpies and the crowned eagles of Africa. And the crowned eagle sits above its preferred hunting ground on a branch by a pool waiting for the antelope to come around. And Haas Eagle sat just in the same place beside a pond, just waiting for the mower to come out for their early morning drink. In range, zero on, and then swoop at 50 or 60 or 80 miles an hour down. But it wasn't a big impact when it arrived because they didn't want to bowl the animal over. The falling mower could have crushed the eagle. Instead, it landed on the victim's back before the killing began. Where the left foot of the bird attacked and struck and nailed into the bone on this side. And as the animal moved, the hind claw drove through two inches of feathers, skin, flesh straight into the bone and tore the bone out. The other foot would be up at the base of the neck, crushing through the arteries and air sacs, and the mower, however much it moved, would be drowning in its own blood. In its day, 
the Haast's eagle occupied the top spot in the South Island's food chain. Then, competition arrived. Less than a thousand years ago, people came to the South Island of New Zealand, and they too began to hunt the flightless mower. Cave paintings can give a glimpse of that time. A time when humans and the eagle both fed on the same prey. Each had its tools for survival. The eagle had hunted for millions of years, armed with its talons. The newly arrived humans had clubs and fire. Within a few years, a series of huge fires permanently changed the landscape of the South Island. Some were caused by nature, some were probably set by man. When the flames burned out, much of the dense forest where the eagle and moa lived was gone. As the moa disappeared, the eagle was forced to look for other food. It must have been a desperate time. Man's arrival on New Zealand's South Island changed its landscape forever. With much of the habitat of Haast's eagle destroyed and its preferred prey, the flightless moa bird, in serious decline, times were lean for the mega predator. It would have been quite dangerous, I think, to have walked around in the forest because these eagles had a search image for large animals walking around on two legs. The 10 centimetre long talons that brought down an almost 300 kilogram moa could just as easily pierce the skin of this creature. Haast's eagle would soon disappear. The world had changed too much for it to survive. This bird was a perfectly functioning organism in a, an intact environment until about 750 years ago. 50% of the South Island was denuded of the forest habitat. At the same time, people were taking out most of the prey and a bird that large could not subsist on eating wrens and sparrows. They were starved of their main diet, they had nowhere to live, and probably by about 500 years ago, Haast Eagle followed the mower into oblivion. <laughs> 